Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by hdesigntutorials.com. In today's video, I'll show you how to use AI to generate voiceovers for your content using Top Mid AI text to speech online. Also, I'll show you how to clone your own voice and then using it to generate voiceovers with the same tool. Everybody knows that it can be challenging, time consuming, and money consuming to record clean voiceovers especially if you are new to content creation and don't know what software to use for recording or how to use these softwares and how to do an acoustic treatment for your home studio to get a clean signal or what equipment to buy and finally you'll need to train your pronunciation and work on your language skills before you can get this one task done which is recording voiceover but what if I told you that today with AI we don't need all of that and we can easily generate realistic and high quality voiceovers using AI text to speech online. So let's go ahead and discover together our fantastic tool. Go to the browser and type in topmedii.com to launch the website. And then you need to create an account on the website and then go to the AI tools menu here and click on AI text to speech. Next, we'll click on Try It Now button to open the web app. On the left side of the page, there are two main buttons. The first one is the text to speech button, and the second one is to switch to the voice cloning page. And right now, we'll stay on the same page to explain how this AI text-to-speech works. Here, we've got the list of categories of voices, and there are more than 3,200 voices available to choose from. And from here, you can select the language that you want, and there are more than 70 international languages and accents. Here on the right side, let's type in some text and then click on Convert button to convert the text to speech. Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by hdesigntutorials.com. Nice! Now after converting the text to speech, we can easily click the download button to save the speech as mp3 file. Let's open this mp3 file to check it. Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by hdesigntutorials.com. Hello, hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought... Great, now we have the audio file saved on our computer. Now here at the top we got a couple of parameters, but these parameters are only supported for real people voices with the hot tag. So, for example, let's switch to this female voice with the hot tag on it and then click on convert again. Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by hdesigntutorials.com. And now, if we select the text, you'll notice that the parameters are now active. For example, let's start by adding a pose parameter right after the word tutorial. We can set the duration of the pause or the silence we need. Let's set it to 2 seconds and then click on Convert to apply the changes. Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by hdesigntutorials.com. Nice! At any time, we can still click on the inserted pause icon again and change the pause duration. Now let's check the speed parameter, for example. Let's change the speed of the reader to slow. And then click on convert to apply the changes. Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by hdesigntutorials.com. And again, we can click on the inserted parameter to change its value at any time. 
Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by hdesigntutorials.com. We can also change the emphasis of the voice. Let's set it to, for example, strong and take a listen. Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by... Nice, let's change it to moderate to check the difference. Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought... And now let's set it to reduced and take a listen. Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by hdesigntutorials.com. Great. We can also select the text and insert a second parameter. Let's check this out. Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by hdesigntutorials.com. Good. Now we have also the say as parameter, which we can use if we want the AI reader to spell each character separately. Let's have a listen. H-E-L-L-O-A-N-D-W-E-L-C-O-M-E-I-N-T-H-I-S-N-E-W-V-I-D. And for example, we can change the say as parameter to spell out for a slower spelling. Let's listen to it. H E L L O A N D W E L C O M. Next, we have the pitch parameter, and we can use it to change the tone or the pitch of the voice. Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by H Design Tutorials. Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by hdesigntutorials.com. And finally, we've got the volume parameter. And welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by H. Mm. Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by. Now let's move on to the second part of our tutorial and see how we can clone our own voice or any other voice and then using it to generate speech from text. So let's click on the voice cloning button on the left. And here on this page, we can choose the cloning method that we want. You can choose the method on the right to clone your voice by simply reading simple texts. Or we can simply choose the left option to upload samples of the voice we want to clone. So I'll use this option because I have already sample audio files of my own voice. Let's listen to one or two of them to compare the results later. Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by hdesigntutorials.com. In this tutorial, we will discover together the latest method to enhance low resolution portraits using Adobe Photoshop and DFDNet. Nice! Now I'll select for example 7 audio files, then click on Open. And now, let's click on Start Cloning to start the voice cloning process. Now we should allow the AI some time to upload the audio files and process the voice. Now here's the voice I've just created at the top, so let's click on Use to use it. Now let's add some text and have a listen. Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by hdesigntutorials.com. Wow, this is incredible. It's 100% me talking through AI. Great, now let me show you how to use the generated speech as a voiceover inside your project, for example in Adobe Premiere Pro. 
Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by hdesigntutorials.com. Let's first save the generated voice and let's add a second sentence or comment. In this tutorial, we will discover together the latest method to enhance low resolution portraits using Adobe Photoshop. And now let's click on download to save it. And now let's go to our downloads folder and select both audio files, then drag and drop them inside Premiere Pro as shown. And then simply inside Premiere Pro, we can drag those audio files to the timeline as shown. Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by hdesigntutorials.com. Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by hdesigntutorials.com. In this tutorial, we will discover together the latest method to enhance low resolution portraits using Adobe Photoshop. Great, I think you know now how you can use AI to generate professional and high quality voiceovers. If you have any other questions, please leave it in the comments below the video. And now, I'll let SpongeBob SquarePants end up this tutorial for me. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.